it really is just paradise here. And you can see it's a little choppy, so I don't, I don't think there'll be a Jubilee this morning, but the tides are right. In recent years, the jubilees still occur. They, um, they seem to have diminished in size and size of fish, but we still have them. They're just a little bit different. Mobile Bay is the only place that has a real jubilee in the whole world. And the people here have seen something that nobody else has seen anywhere else. What happens is in the summertime, you'll get a uh, very low oxygen level in the water. You can see the crabs climbing up on the, the bottom of the tree. They're getting out of the water trying to find some oxygen. Crabs, flounder, fish, they all come up to the shore where all the oxygen is. And so that's when you get a jubilee. That's, that's a lot of flounders there. That's, that's a lot of flounders. My aunt and some cousins, and I'm sure that the whole family had been down on the beach when you hollered Jubilee, everybody came. It was a community event. It really takes all of your family to check the bay. One goes to check and then another one goes and the, and the neighborhood children uh, check the bay too. You gotta be ready. You gotta have that flounder light by the door. You have your gig close by and your crab net. And this is where the Jubilees happen. Something about this bay, they come here. Christopher's house is right there with the John boat right there. And the Stephanie's is right here. Usually, when a Jubilee happens, the bay will be slick as glass, not a ripple on it. I mean, that's when I dropped part of it. You just can't predict them. We just watch for the tide coming in. We watch for the moon phase to change. Let's see the, the east wind and the salty water. There's just a lot that has to go right for it to happen. One mile east, northeast. It all has to be certain conditions. And that's the day that the Jubilee happened right there. If you're very lucky, you can go down the beach, gigging flounders, stick a needle through them and just pull them behind you. This is pretty much just a, that's what you want is something so that when you want to stick them and you want to make sure they don't go anywhere. You stick them and put your hand over them and hold on to them and put them in your bucket. You have to get him near his, his head or body. You have to get him in your body and you have to gig him. You have to gig him straight down like this. And then you, you, you either pitch him in the boat or pitch him, put him in that crab net. I call myself lucky. I do think I've seen a lot of Jubilees. My grandfather, he would come knock on my window, say, buddy, there's a Jubilee down there, buddy, come down. The Jubilees are not quite as intense as they used to be, but 4.30 in the morning, you would see his grandpa walking up and down the beach, gigging a flounder, and you'd see my mom doing the same thing, but my mom would have me and three other kids dragging behind us. If you give a kid nothing to do, they're gonna get into something. So at least here, there's a local hub. It's been a local hub since the 40s when they bought this place and built this pier. A Jubilee really is about the celebration. You can go down there, catch all the shrimp and crabs in the world, but it's not really anything unless you have the people you love with you down there. My, my go-to is not Old Bay. My go-to is Zatarans. I like Zatarans. Zatarans has got a little bit better flavor. My mom used to get up and do it, but she's getting older now, so she don't have to come down and check for Jubilees anymore. Christopher will, and he does not mind 
calling her four times at four o'clock in the morning to say, hey, you need to come down here. My grandma calls it the swinging door. That, that door is always swinging. I never know who's coming in. He's so precious. He's so precious. I love to hear him play. It's wonderful. Christopher is a brilliant-minded child, but he just needed to hone a few skills. And I guess I, just out of nature, because I'm, I'm, I probably don't have the most education in the world. I've got a lot of, I've got a lot, uh, we always used to say, Daddy would say, well, you t attended the school of hard knocks. One of the biggest things I think I've learned from Miss Stephanie is you just need to take time to be outside, spend time with nature, and enjoy the bay. It's just one of those things that it's here, but unless you go out and spend time on it, it's, you might as well not even be living on it. When I was growing up, we went on every pier on this damn place. Every wharf had people on it every weekend, every weekend. One of the saddest things for me is all these beautiful piers and very few people go out on them. There aren't people on the beach and there aren't people on the piers. The only thing they seem to enjoy is the view. They don't really enjoy the bay. Everybody builds a seawall in front of their house to protect their house, but slowly the sand, it all just will wash out into the bay and there just won't be a beach anymore. It, it's, I don't know why, but it's, that's just how it is. This is my Pride and Joy magnolia tree. Someday, if everything goes right, I wish I could build a house here. This is where I want to live. But even if I don't come back to Daphne, I hope I find my own Daphne. Oh, it's good though. Mm. There's a lot of people that will say, this is private property, you can't pass here. They're glad that the rocks are in the way so that folks can't walk the beach at night. So how do you check for a jubilee if you don't walk the beach? A lot of people think that we're crazy and that the jubilees just don't exist, but they do happen. And people, they all think, oh, only Poor people swim in the bay, and you can't really change any of that. They all met each other here. They're all like, let's go walk the beach. Let's go look for Jubilee at four o'clock in the morning. It's a different type of friendship you're going to get that you can't get that many places. I'm hoping that we'll see something. Never got to play that game of Monopoly. Ah, uh, we'll do it Christmas. Can't you just do Monopoly online? You can too? do it, but it's better in person. Yeah. We'll do it Christmas. Right. We could sit here and talk till tomorrow morning, but we... <laughs> <laughs> we had nine, I think we had nine dozen flounders and 10 soft shells. Grandma Foster was standing down there on the pier at the beach level waiting with her little cooler. I don't think there'll be a Jubilee this morning. That's how it goes. Many people don't even have an idea of what we have. Everybody kind of watches out for everybody. And whether they're my children or not, I still watch out for these kids. What she's doing now with these kids, it's almost the exact same thing that her grandma would do 50 years ago. 
Am I going to miss these children? Absolutely, I'll miss these children. They've been here with me for seven years. Every little, well, not just a little boy, a little girl, a little boy, whatever. They need to fish. They need to be around the water. It's how we grew up. It kept us out of trouble. Many of the kids nowadays just, they're too busy. If it's not on their phone and it's not right here, you can't learn to throw a cast net or you can't learn to throw a rod and reel. This is not something that you can go online and watch a YouTube video. You've got to be here and you've got to do this. It speaks for a culture that we're losing. Either the water wasn't salty enough, the tide didn't go in at the right time, I don't know. There's just, everything has to go right and it just doesn't happen that many times. It goes with the, 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 this culture. I don't think there's a name for it. I just think it's, to me, it's called living. Miss Stephanie, I'm down at the beach. Which, which way are you? I'm down on our beach. Okay. You should get down there. Okay, I'll be there in just a few seconds. I've already got my gig and my net ready. We'll probably see your light down there. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. bye.